to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, adoption, as sons by whom we cry, uh, Abba, Father. The Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Now re read it again. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. That's it. For all that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. So that's why it says to be led by the Spirit. Now what is the Spirit? The Spirit is so bear witness with our spirit. Now what, anybody know what the Spirit is? Yeah. It's the Holy Ghost. I do, I do, I do. I do, I do, I do. What's the Spirit? Galatians 5 and 18. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Alright, give me what you got, Sonata. Okay, I have um, Psalms 143, verse 10. Okay. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy Spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Mm. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. What do you say? Thy spirit is what? Go ahead. Read it. Thy spirit is what? Thy spirit is good. Mm -hmm. Lead me into the land of uprightness. There he's talking about. He's being led by the spirit. So David was talking about being led by the spirit. He said, teach me your spirit. Your spirit is good. Lead me. So we got to be led by the spirit, not by our hearts, not by our minds. We can't let emotions rule us. We can't, emotion, we can't let what happened at work, what happened at school. You can't what let happen with what, what your friend said to you, what your dad said to you, what your mama said to you, what your brother, sister said to you. We can only be led by this good book. That's it. Okay. His law of spirit. Matter of fact, that's it. By the Spirit. Romans uh, 7 and 14. I got it. You got it? Mm -hmm. Read it both. This is Romans 7 and 14. Uh huh. For we know that the law is spiritual. For we know that the law is spiritual. But I am a carnal. But I am carnal. So the law is spirit. So that's how you be led by the spirit is to follow the law. Sold under sin. Wow. Read. Keep reading. Sold under sin. For what I am doing. A hey, mother, children, obey your parents. Children, obey your parents. Honor thy father and mother. Children, obey your parents. It's real simple. It's real simple. Y'all laws are real simple right now. Our laws are a little bit more complex, a little bit more difficult, because we're dealing with things like uh, adultery and fornication and lust. You know what I'm saying? We've been around a little longer. We've been around, so we're on a different level of things. We're dealing things with y'all dealing with those things on a lower level. You know what I'm saying? Y'all being introduced. The, 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 the enemy is introducing y'all to those things. Well, you know what? This thing, you know, look at this. Don't that look good to your eyes? That's lust. Don't it feel good to your body? That's lust. Yeah. Let's say Galatians 5. That's lust. But the, the enemy always whispering. So y'all being introduced to these things. Yeah, I know your dad said don't watch this, but you think it's funny, don't you? It's pretty funny, ain't it? Yeah. But didn't your dad say don't watch it? 
He not gonna ask you that. I'm asking you that. Then your dad say don't watch it. But the enemy gonna tell you, hey man, it's funny, man. You know, your dad's not watching. Your dad, your dad don't know what's going on. Your dad can't see you. He in the room sleep. He been at work all night. He sleep. He don't know what's going on. But you know who is watching? It's not my job to watch you 24-7. I can't watch you 24-7. I got to do what the Most High told me to do. And the Most High told me to go provide. So that's what I got to do. So while you're not doing your part, I'm doing mine. The Most High told me to go provide. So I got to go provide. And when I need to rest, I need to rest. That's it. And while I'm resting, you think you can get away with sin? You can't. Because the Most High watch you. He's not going to let you get away. He's not going to let you get away. You either. You either. You either. Or you. He's not going to let you get away. So, it's, it, this is our job, man, to filter out the foolishness, to filter out the sin, to filter out the wickedness. To add, you have to pray for a pure heart. You have to pray for a pure mind. When we, that's what we was reading about in Psalms. Psalms 119. Psalm, David said, take, he said, don't take your law away from you. That's what he kept saying. Oh, we're going to move on to Judah. Go ahead. What you got, Ah? Wait a minute. Well, we want to know how you how you doing, man. We, before you bring out a script, you know how you doing as a person. You know how how is Judah doing? I mean, what, what what's your goals and your accomplishments, man? Man, I mean, how you how you how you been doing, man? What's what's going on with you, brother? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Huh? Good. Yeah. What's going on, man? Oh, I'm getting good. I'm getting uh, close to the word, and I'm. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, because if I pull up your grades, it's like S and D's. I'm confused. So what you talking about? You talking about fluff. You trying to tell me what I want to hear. That's not what I'm asking you. I'm asking you what's going on with you. So be honest. Be honest and be what they call abs not abstract, but uh what's called transparent. Be transparent with us. You know what transparent is? It's like that glass. You, you know what that what what can you do with that glass? When you look at it, what happens? You can see through it. You can see what's going on in the inside of that glass. What's going on? Be transparent. Don't tell me what I want to hear on the outside. We want to know how's Judah doing. Be honest. Um, um. I'm doing good. Okay. Got real quiet. <laughs> <laughs> It got real. Come on, man. Keep keep it real with your brother. You know what's going on, man. I ain't trying to put you on the hot seat, but just be open. You see how Gracie got she was just open with us. And you know I'm hey, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get eight. I ain't I she you see how that she was open with us. She said she said I have never got on a roll. I want to get on a roll. Nobody here knew that. That's what you. That's what you. Mama call being, knew that. That's what you call being honest. She was honest, and you know what we did? We respected it. Well, we don't want you being a coward. Cause right now, what right now you showing yourself? You showing cowardly ways. You need to be bold as a lion. Well, look, man, this this is going on. I'm, I'm dealing with this, and I'm dealing with that. But but this is my plan. You gotta learn that. You want us to come back to you? I never got to tell mine. Huh? I never got to tell mine. Oh, you didn't? Oh, we we'll, we'll come back to you then. Go ahead, Jasper. Okay. Um, my goal is to get all A's. I want to get all A's. All A's. She want a 4.0. Yeah. She want 4.2. Oh, no. <laughs> and I want to um, move on to Judah. 
before. I used to say that I wanted to do interior design, but um, that's not interesting to me anymore. And I want to do fashion design. You want to do fashion design? And what shall you fashion? Um, everything, clothes, shoes, accessories, stuff like that. Because I was searching all the other, like, all the fact, um, the most famous um, fashion brand, brands. Uh -huh. Yeah. And they're all made by white people. There's no black people that have a, a popular. Wow, wow. So that, that sounds something that you need to, you and your mom could take over. That sounds like, I bet you, I bet you, you and your mom could take over the market. You know what I'm saying? Because both of y'all got sauce. You know. What else, Jasper? Sit, don't do that. Pay attention to what's going on. You be disrespectful, you're going to get disrespectful. Now pay attention. Go ahead. Um, I think I was here. Now you ready? Yeah. Go ahead. My goals is to is to get all the young and and my my other goal is to be lucky and. Okay. Well, let let's talk about your grades then. You know, have you figured out why you got F's and D's? Let's let's just go there. Yeah. Why? Why why does Judah have D's and F's, F's and D's? Because I wasn't taking my time on the, on my work and I wasn't reading the pages that they told me to read. And I wasn't and I wasn't taking notes. You wasn't taking notes. Okay. So what scripts you got? Uh -huh. And let it be known, you're you're the only one in this house that's fell in this school. My baby boy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. So this is the book of Revelation, chapter fourteen, verse ten. Hold on, let us get. I got it highlighted already. It need to be darkened up, though. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of indignation. And he shall be turned into the fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb, and smoke mm -hmm. of the eternity ascend up forever and ever. And they have no rest day. Go back go back to now. Cause we, we need to understand who who who's gonna drink from this. Go back to now. And the third angel followed them saying with the loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture, mixture into the cup of indignation. And he shall be turned to with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angel. You see that? And who else? Me. In the presence of the Lamb. In the presence of the Lamb. Why? So, that's a perfect precept. We was just talking about 
calamity. And the, and the Lord said, what did, what did he say? What did he say he was going to mock? Mock and laugh. Mock and laugh. Now what did that say? He will be tormented what? With fire and brimstone. He said he will be tormented with fire and brimstone in front of who? In the presence of the Holy Angels. In, presence, in the presence of the Holy Angels and, and who else? In the presence of the, of the Lamb. So they're going to watch you burn. And laugh at you. This is not a game. This all goes to sudden destruction. This all goes with 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 with, with those who don't listen, those who don't obey, those often rebuke, calamity and destruction, and those who make it to the end will. What it say? You will not escape. They will not escape. So if you happen to make it to the end, being wicked, what's going to happen? This is in Revelation. Read it again. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, If any man worship the beast, And the image of the beast, And the image of the beast, and received his mark in his forehead. And received his mark in his forehead. Or his hand. Or his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, mm. which is poured out without mixture mm. into the cup mm. of indignation. 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 So some things can be so, so strong that you have to mix a little water in it. It's just too strong. Yeah, it's too strong. Like sometimes you, you may have, you, need, you may need you may need to wash some clothes, and you may need to get them you, need, you may need to get them clean. But if you put a hundred percent bleach in there, you're gonna have spots in there. So you mix some bleach with a little water in there. Well, you mix a little bit of bleach, and you put a whole bunch of water in there, and you stir it up. Then you put in the load that'll clean your clothes without bleaching them. But he said he gonna pour off his pour out his wrath without mixing. Woo. So you finna get a hundred proof of the Lord's it's wrath. It's over. A hundred proof for the Lord's wrath. See, right now we get the Lord's wrath, but it's mixed. It's mixed. See, when you get a hundred proof of the Lord's wrath, you're not gonna survive it. It's only destruction. It's only destruction. You know what I'm saying? So right now we might be getting two percent of the wrath and ninety-eight percent of uh, mercy. So that when they say we live on by grace, this is what you, this is what you getting. This is the grace that you getting. You get two percent wrath and, and maybe ninety percent grace. You getting a lot. You being a lot of a time to turn to turn away from your sin. Go ahead. So we all gonna have to drink a cup. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. Tormented. In the presence of the holy angels. You hear that? And in the presence of the Lamb. You hear that? And the smoke of their torment to ascend up forever and ever. Hmm. And they shall have no rest day nor night. Hmm. Who will worship the beast in his image, and who shall receive the mark of his name. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are, here are they that keep the commandments of God in the faith of Yahweh. So the mark, the mark, the mark, the mark of this of this beast is seizure Bashua. The mark of this beast is seizure Bashua. It's the white Jesus. This white Jesus saying that God coming to save everybody. This white Jesus saying, you know, come as you are. You know, everybody's going to be saved. You know, God understands. God understands your heart. But it talks about the heart. It talks about the heart. But this is what this white Jesus is preaching. This is his mark and the image. What was the image that was put up? See, this is how you know. This is how you know. You can break it down. What was the image that was put up? The image that was put up was seizure bazooka. That's the image that was put up to worship was white Jesus. It says, any man that worships what? Read it again. Any man that worships the beast. 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 Any
that worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his forehead shall drink the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured without mercy. Okay, so Caesar is ruled. This is the image that was set up to be Christ, to be God, white Jesus. And the mark, the mark is his, is his, uh, is his philosophies. Once you get that in your mind, you take this mark, just like it says, the Most High is going to seal. He's going to mark those in Revelations. This mark is, is the, is what you receive. You can receive the philosophies. You can receive the knowledge of white Christ. And if you, what it's saying, if you believe in this, in this image and what he preaching, you're going to be the first to be destroyed. That's all he's telling you. Because he warns you about it pre-hand. He warns you about a thousand, thousands of years before it was going to happen. He told you that many false Christ shall arise. And that's a false Christ. We know that Christ was a brown man. We know he wasn't a white man. We know we know for a fact that he's not a European. But you got you got ninety percent of our people that will fight you too for now when you try to tell them that Christ wasn't wasn't a white man. And you got the whole world saying, "Well, he was an olive man." Well, what color is olive? Black. 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 A real olive is black. <laughs> But they try to confuse you. It's all in the seat. So when you think olive, you think green. Well, if Christ was green, then what's the, where the rest of the green people at? A real olive coming out of the Holy Land, Jerusalem, is black. It's very dark. Black into the ground. So if y'all want to go off that, then you still saying Christ was a black man. You want some more? So you can't be worshiping this white Christ. You can't be worshiping Christianity. You can't be worshiping... Uh, you can't you can't be Muslim, you can't be a uh, Baptist, you can't be Pentecostal, Pentecostal, Seven Day Adventist, <laughs> all these man made things. Pesperary. All these things are, they just they just branch offs of Christianity. All these things stem from Christianity. All this was set up by uh what's his name? Uh oh. All these things were set up about, uh, I, I, I'm forgetting his name, uh, Constantine, mm. after Christ died. So you always got, these white people always wanted what we had. So Constantine was studying Christ. He was like, oh man, this black man, this black man, he want what we, he want, he, he is what we want to be. So he waited till all Christ died, and he hijacked his he hijacked what he was teaching. He said, "Hey man, we gonna we gonna wait till this man die, and we gonna lie about who he was." That's what they did. They waited till Christ died, and they lied about who he was. Boy, let's take this black man. Let's say he was white. You know what I'm saying? Let's say he was white, and then we gonna take his philosophies and his doctrines, and we gonna we gonna mix them. We gonna put paganism in them. We gonna make them ours. The only way we can make we can get people to follow it is if we put paganism in it. In it. Because if we tell them to take to uh, follow the truth like it is, they not gonna follow that. So we gotta put things in there, we gotta butter it up. We gotta put a little sugar in there. A little sugar and honey. Then they take it. Let's put Christmas in there. Let's put Santa Claus in there. Let's put Easter. You know what I'm saying? So when you deal with, with Santa Claus, you're dealing with a God. A false idol. It says image. A false God. When you're dealing with Eshtar, you're dealing with a false god. You're dealing with idols. Let's mix these idols in with, with what Christ was preaching. And we can get everybody to receive it. They're going to take it down. It's just like when you try to get your kid to take to take medicine. You give them 100% of the medicine, 9 times out of 10, they're going to spit it out. You mix it with something sweet, they're going to take it. And that's what they did with the word. But, uh... Somebody give me Jeremiah 17 and 9. Okay. Got it. Are you quick on that sword now?
Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can, that? who can know it? Y'all hear that? So, and that's the thing, man. All people don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going on. What they saying? They they saying? Well, I'm, 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 as long as as long as I'm gonna I'm gonna follow my heart. I'm gonna follow my heart. My heart. My heart. This and that. My heart. My heart. Every time you hear a Christian speak, a Christian, a person without a person without knowledge, they always talking about that. Well, my heart. My heart. My heart. But what's the Bible say about the heart? Say, say it bold. It's desperately wicked. The Bible says the heart is desperately wicked. And what? The heart is deceitful. And this, above all things. The heart is deceitful above all things. It says the heart, the heart is desperately wicked and deceitful above all things. So that, that means that when you follow your heart, your heart is going to deceive you. Your heart is going to lead you into destruction. So you can't follow your heart. That's some lucky charm shit. I'm going to follow the rainbow to the other side and and find a pot of gold. That's like following your heart. Precept on that. It says desperately wicked. So it's fiending to do wickedness. The heart is waiting for any chance or any opportunity to do something wicked. And it's what? Deceitful above all things. So the following your... See... And you got the masses following their heart. So that what's that mean? The masses are deceived. If you follow in your heart, you deceive. It says the heart is deceitful above all things. So what you doing? You're dealing with the flesh. You dealing with you being led by the flesh. If you led by your heart, you being led by the flesh. We can't be led by your heart. The Bible says to be led by the spirit. Mm -hmm. Be led by the spirit. It don't say be led by your heart. Nowhere in the Bible does it say be led by your heart. How you feel. Now you're dealing with emotions. That's what they're talking about. Well, I feel this way. I feel that way. I feel well, I feel strongly. I feel deeply about this way. That's what they're really talking about. They're talking about how they feel. They own personal emotions. Well, you have, if you're going to follow, if you're going to please the Lord, you have to put your personal emotions to the side. We can't go off how you feel. Because how you feel, go up and down. One day you feel good. One day you feel bad. One day you feel sad. One day you feel happy. Depending on the weather. Because you know our emotions are tied to the weather. You know that, right? It's a part of us that's tied to the weather. When it's gloomy outside, you feel sad. When it's sunny outside, you feel happy. When it's raining, you feel another way. When it snow, you feel another way. When it snow, you get angry. You see that? Out of the mouth of babes. What you say? Say that again, David. Get angry. When it when it what? Snows, you get angry. When it snows, you get angry. See that? So it's a part of your heart that's even tied to tied to the weather. So how can you follow that? Because the weather is all over the place. So that means if you follow your heart, you're going to be what? All over the place. We have to be stable. The Bible says not to be tossed to and forth. Any man. It says any man that, that doubts is like a wave tossed to and forth. To and forth. We got to be stable. We got to be flatlined. We got to be flatlined. You can't be going off what you feel. I got to. Um, it's the precept to that. Pretty deep. And my revelation off of that is those who follow their heart transgress the law. Mm. And I, can I read the precept? Bring, bring it out. Let's get it. So the precept is uh, Matthew 15 and 19. Matthew 15 and 19. Let's get it, y'all. It'll be 15 and 19 through, I'm going to read 19 and 20. Wait, 15 and 19? Just go to Matthew 15 and 19.
Ready? Mm-hmm. So Matthew 15, wow. verse 19. For out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts, murderers, <laughs> adulterers, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. Mm. But to eat with unwashed unwashing hands defile not a man. That's that's the that's a powerful precept. Now somebody read Somebody read Jeremiah again, 17 and 9. Read that again. And I want you to hold that. That's a powerful precept. Because it's breaking it down. And you're not paying attention. I don't know if you got spirits on you, boy. You over there twitching your eyes and twitching your mouth. Pay attention. If we was playing that game, you'd be locked in. Scoot up. I got it. I got it. Read it again. This is Jeremiah 17 and 9. Jeremiah 17 and 9. Let, let Trinity read. Okay. Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and des desperately sick. Who can understand it? Mm, so no man can understand the heart. It's deceitful and wicked. It's, de it's deceitful. Now, now give me that. What she said. Give me Matthew. 15, what, 15 and what? 19. 15 and 19. 15 and 19. Matthew 15 and 19. Read it, Judah. It's Matthew 15 and 19. And it's going to expound what, 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 what is the makeup of the heart. Now, I just told you in Jeremiah that the heart was deceitfully wicked, desperately wicked, and deceitful above all things. Why? Go ahead. For out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts. For out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts. Go ahead. Murders. Murders. Adulteries. Adulteries fornications. Thefts. Deaths, deaths, false, false witness. Blasphemies. blasphemies. These are the things defiling man. So everything comes out the heart. So if you follow your heart, you're going to be doing every evil thing there is to be done under the sun. He just mentioned every. Only the, the only evil things to be done come out the heart. That's why we are to be led by the Spirit. And I'm going to bring out that script. Go ahead. Who else? Who else read? Read. So is that a, a good way to uh, break that down with the uh, transgressing the law? Because if you follow your heart, you're going to transgress the law. Man, you, you, you don't have no other choice but to transgress the law. But if you, you said all the masses do these things because they follow their heart, yeah. this is all the things that they do. Think about it. They Think what they do. They do all, they do all of them. A lust. And promote a lying, it. You know what I'm saying? Killing. Read it again, Julie. For out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. Murders. Murders. Adulteries. Adulteries. Fornications. Fornications. fornications thefts. Thefts. thefts false witnesses. False witnesses. Okay, so you can't be led by your heart. Somebody give me Romans 8 and 14. We're going to show you how to be led. What has to rule you. When they talk about being led, your leader, what rules you? Romans 18 and 14. I mean Romans 8 and 14. And somebody give me Galatians 5 and 18. You want me to read it? Yeah. Romans 8 and 14. You, Shanetta, you give me Psalms 143 and 10. I got Romans 8 and 14. You got Romans 8 and 14. Who got Galatians 5 and 18? I get Psalms what? Give me Psalms 143 and 10. Everybody got Romans 8 and 14? I want y'all to hold all these scriptures. Romans 8 and 14. 
Galatians 5 and 18. No, Romans 8 and 14. Galatians 5 and 18. And uh, what I give you, Psalms. What I give you, Shanetta? Psalms 143 and 10. Hmm? Yeah. Say it loud. Romans 8 and 14. Okay. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. Mm. For you did not receive the spirit 